always moaning. Hello again, what? Crafty Coy. Mrs. is out today, look, for once. Anyway, right. So you would have seen the last video. Always in the way. Would have seen the last video. Um, apologies if the ace of bed went on a little bit of a while, but you can see, look, looking proper. What are you doing? Cleaning up the mud. Cleaning up so the mud. Put that fern by the so I can put the fern by the pond. You won't be able to lift it. So anyway, it's a bit of a tidy up session today. Got plenty on. Um, still not got any further on the uh, base with the filter house at the moment. And the reason for that, I'll take you down and show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm going to spin you around, a couple of jobs on, and then you'll see what we're up. <laughs> So, you can see the decking, all right, you can see, see where stuff's been over the winter, so getting the spring clean going, uh, it's the Easter weekend after all, um, all the stuff's gone off of there, start to clear all this out, pipes have gone in the pond uh, ready, um, you can see all the crap that we had up there, it's now congregated down the bottom here, but it don't matter because we're just going to get on top of things. So. What we're going to do, I'll just show you. All right, so down the secret alleyway. So as we come down here, um, you'll see that I've started on the shed, which is good. However, got to a bit on this shed and we can't work out what to do with it for the life of us. So, basically we've got all the struts there by the way it was supposed to be two hours to get this done right but anybody knows that it don't take two hours right so i'll put in about fifty thousand screws um across the top we've got these we've got these pieces here across the top all right and then when we come across to the bit at the front all right we have got a sliding door but can't for the life of us work out the instructions are shit i can't for the life of us work out how the bit goes across um the top across here all right so this bit remains all flimsy sorry i didn't know you've gone hang on a minute back again so the bit remains all flimsy and can't work out how it secures at the top there because it's like the piece don't fit and everywhere else has got small little holes or spinning everywhere else right so these tiny little holes right are what the screws are going into like these right but then the fit in itself it just it hasn't got anything so, this is the fitting Right, it has to sit there. It has to sit at the back. Right, there's there's nowhere to. So the screw the screws don't go anywhere. And these these bigger holes, right? They're too big to house the screws that I tell you to put in there. So at a loss. So if anybody knows, please let please let me know. I think I cut you off a little bit short there, but um, not even an answer on YouTube or Google. Or anything like that, to be fair. Right. Go back up to where the main um, priorities for the day are. So, uh, get the fish a good clean out yesterday. Um, right, and now I've decided I'm going to put in um, the UV clarifier now. So, just going to spin you around. Right, so you see the fishes. All looking marvellous, they're a lot more active. Water's quite cloudy, I ain't bothered about that because obviously I know um, it's starting to get a bit more of an algae growth up now. But I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to do this. I think I might, just so I can keep everything together. Unfortunately for me, I think I'm going to put this where it is now across there, right? Because it's just easier to get to for any problems. I was going to put it at the back, but it's just a pain in the ass to get to, so I ain't going to bother. Um, 
So new ball's been fitted and then all we're simply going to do here okay see all the dried algae from last season well a bit of pond water in a bucket 99p from b and q them orange ones right give them a clean off cut off a little bit of sponge like that so jobs are good so i'm going to crack on with that and then uh look at the missus mate she is a graft a lot Like, are you coming out? It's bank holiday Monday. Don't waste our days off sat on the sofa, darling. Don't waste our days off. Like the fucking pond didn't build itself, did it? But, well, it ain't built at all, is it? So, anyway, I'm gonna crack on. Uh, stay tuned. It's. Windy day, man. So base is done for the filter house. Okay, that's down. Um, what I've done on this piece is because uh, the, um, the the four inch isn't uh, glued in at the moment, uh, I'll just build a little uh, trap there. But that will get filled in as and when I get the um, the Nexus base, uh, the Nexus filter onto the base. Um, afterwards but um, not too bad I'm gonna uh, move on to the next stage now so yeah just a, just a little update of how messy it all is right then so uh, next step is I'm doing uh, a three sun one cement mix uh, it's just gone in a bucket uh, and all I'm gonna do with that is add it over the top of my base as a, as a sort of, um, oh my God, this thing's wobbling like it. Um, as a base layer for the slabs to go on. Now the slabs are all, I've just brought in from outside. Not shit loads left, but they're reclaimed. Um, you see on there, um, some of the old cement. Um, nothing wrong with that. Uh, get a plastic hammer on there give it a little tap off and that, that'll break away no problem and then all I'm simply going to do is put put them on there layer um, level them off um, but once I've put a few in I'll come back to you and let you know what my ideas are regarding what I've already done so or what I would have done so um, I'll be back in a minute so then as we go on windy still right so i've got a little bit of a dilemma right so as we look down the fence line now let's see if i can put it back a bit you can see that my slabs are going to be off so i'm not quite sure i'm going to what i'm going to do to put up with that so but as you can see from this We are nice and level there. We are nice and level there. And nice and level there. So you can see uh, we're nice and flat, which is good. So what my plan was originally, I've got some of this upstanding left from the kitchen. I was gonna put that in there and there that way as well but I've had to bring them in because of that bit up there which I'm a little bit pissed with to be honest but I can't go any further that way because of the ups the up pipes um, so I think I might just have to grin and bear it. I ain't cutting slabs for inside the filter house so I might uh, bring a slab off so it's off there like so um, because um, what I'm toying with is, well, what my plan was, is down this section that's going down right hand side of that wood. Um, I was going to gravel all that off, so I've got a little gravel bed. The reason for that is so I can tip water onto it and it can disappear off. Now, with the, um, 
with the four inch up um, you can see I've got a T piece in there uh, what I'm going to do with that once that's in once I've got the nexus in and all plumbed in all right this T piece is going to have uh, a pipe that runs out and then I'll just get around the other side spin you back round then where the end of that wood is I'm going to have a soak away in there so I can uh, purge the bottom drain. I'm also going to incorporate uh, the Nexus uh, drains into that somehow. But I've got to work out to do that yet. But messy old business, isn't it? But I look up and I see that and I think, you know what? It's all worth it. So anyway, I'll come back to you in a moment. Hello, uh, welcome back. I don't even know if it's welcome back to be honest. Uh, but if it is, welcome to Crappy Coy again. Uh, moving on, pond build, a uh, little bit of slow progress, but progress nevertheless. I've had to sort out the missus' chicken coop. Um, and if you ever bought a metal shed, I would suggest you don't buy it. Don't, because they are the devil. So, see the aces are looking rather splendid behind me. But what we're going to do is, I'm just going to spin you around in a second. Um, we haven't got the concrete in yet. I've, uh, still waiting to hear back from the cement company because I need to make sure that number one um, it's the right type of cement now there is some cement that is fibre based uh, which means that I don't have to rebar because of the fibres that's built into the cement but at the same time uh, I need to make sure that the stuff I get is correct uh, the volume is not a problem um, but um, so while I'm waiting for that I'm just doing as much prep as I can on the on the filter off so I'm just going to spin you around uh, and we'll have a look at this so then the path and path the bottom is in right so um, got six slabs in um, down here is where the four inch comes up none of that's connected in yet so um, what I'm what I'm going to be doing here is uh, the four inch comes up and then where you see the bottom drain uh, the T piece there I'm going to be running a pipe along the bottom there and then in this area there will be a soak away but um, that's all in slightly off straight so I need to uh, fix that but ultimately right, that is where I need it to be and that so uh, it's going to look epic I can't wait now next stage all I'm simply going to do is down here I am putting a foot in today okay all the way up to that point um, and then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to add uh, some gravel into there the reason for that is so I can just tip any water um, straight down there and it also adds for the draining in this part. So um, even though we are going to put a roof across the top of that. But um, yeah, that, that's what we're going to do today. So I will come back to you in a moment. All right, so the footing is done. Well, it's not, it's dug. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you what I've done. It's only a small little footing because mine, what's going on with this? Let's get that straight. So the footing's done. Um, now it's only a small footing because all I'm going to do is put one course of uh, brick in or block, whatever you want to call it. See how shiny I am? That's, it's so warm today. I'm sweating me tack off. Anyway, I'm going to turn you around and then I'm going to show you how much earth comes from just doing a small bit of digging. So if you are looking to do your own pond, which no doubt some of you will be that watch this, um, have a look at how much earth comes out of just a very small amount of digging. I'll tell you something, the amount of tools you end up using is unreal. But, right, here we go. Mixing base. I ain't moved that because I'm lazy. Shovel. And got me hand trowel, spirit level rubber mallets over there hose 
ballast cement sand hose for water i think i might have just said that so all i'm going to do now is knock up a knock up a mix here uh, the only thing i didn't bring down was a bucket so the amount of tools lies see still got some shit there the brush up there right there it's on no. but the devastation it's still here but it's a lot more organized still got a bag all that up as well I'm trying to keep away so right anyway i'm gonna get mixing and then we'll fill that in ready for the first layer Anyway, here we go. So that's all done. All right, I know there's a bit of earth in there, but when that dries off, I'll sweep it off. All right, so just wait for that to go off now. Then I can get a row of bricks in. So I'm only going, I'm only doing that shape. That shape, mind if I'm watching then. That shape there. And then uh, what we'll do, we'll tie into the back wall um, once the pond goes up. So, right, uh, bag of ballast, bag of sand, uh, about a quarter of a bag of cement. Um, and that done that. So, job's a good one. I'll come back to you when we start doing the other. So, because I haven't been able to get me concrete, the missus has kept me busy. Um, we did have plans, uh, as you've probably already seen on, on other episodes. Um, but I think the last one I put out had my aces in there. So um, that was a few weeks back now. Um, but if you have a look, I'm, I ain't going to be able to show you. Bloody sun's going to be there. But there you go, man. That's looking magnificent. I ain't looking too bad either, actually. I'm gonna right. Let me spin you around and show you properly. I've only just put the um, UV on.
backwards on that. Um, and they're all looking rather splendid, I ain't gonna lie. Um, right, let me just spin you back round, I'll show you what I've been up to. Now, one thing that I do like, so this is a Japanese uh, clematis. Um, and I don't know what the orange flowers are, but they're looking rather nice. And from a distance, they really complement each other. But the, uh, the aces now, looking real good, man. Real good. As you can see, Mrs. Put a trip hazard across there. Tripped over a fucking brush. But that one didn't do so well in the, uh, in the winter. This one's really doing well. Uh, this is a new one that I've got, I couldn't resist. This is my dad's fern. That's about 35 year old. And then over here, got a nice bottle brush. Another acer, very nice. And then we've got a butterfly, which is another acer as well. Um, got a couple of little mini aces down there on bonsai in and then this is another addition I've had my drive done look so dead chuff have a look look out there job so now I've got some other stuff to be doing so that needs to be tidied up I need to get in there sorted out and then the pond itself so I've got a little I've done a little bit but um, what I needed was the concrete in so I could um, tie this end piece in down here um, to put to sort of start on the base but because I can't get the concrete I can't do nothing but you see when we spin around that way that's going to look absolutely spiffing but we, we need to clear all this off so we can start seeing this side of the garden as well and that but if you have a look around here the old chicken coop has gone all right so that's what i've been doing on the weekends that um i haven't been able to carry on with a pond and i have built this one so you can see just about to get a little bit of feed but in here right, everything solid as a rock really good we haven't finished yet we've just got some finishing touches to do in here and that but as we go in here you're probably your next door's thing right got a couple of um broody chicks out. they're currently sitting on eggs and one of them's laid us a nice fresh egg there. So I'll collect that in a while and have that on toast, I think. But here's our hens. Kel, yeah? what's this black and called? Cardi B. What? Cardi B. No, what <laughs> variety? Oh. <laughs> oh, she's an AM Ceremony. An AM Ceremony. These are fairly rare chickens, so black they're chicken. actually completely black. Um, if I can see them properly. Come out of you. This one, is it? although you've got a green tinge, it's actually completely black, including its feet. So that's called Cardi B. Then we've got this one. I think it's a brown pheasant. And I don't know what that one is. There's a ranger. They're everyone's favourite. This one here, big one. These are the ones that your mum used to have a little egg box on the side. Um, and they're Buff Orpingtons. So the, oh. these are, um, again, they're a pedigree. In fact, all of them pedigree chickens. That one there is a, a brown leghorn. Um, and then we've got our cock there. He's a noisy individual. But they're good, aren't they? And then we've got a couple in there as well, look. Just sat in there. So we'll probably have another 15 chickens by the end of uh, the time that they hatch. Come on, Wayden. Go on, so, 
you can see I've been busy. But let me just spin you around. Again, apologies I ain't really put much up. But on top of my illness, which I'm getting help for now, six months later, thank God. Um, I've um, battling to get the supplies. So what I actually done, because I couldn't get the concrete, I uh, had to wait a week for my rebate. Or if it had a rebate, it's a refund. Um, and then once I received that, uh, I got I got some um, two ton of ballast and a load of cement and some fibre as well to go in the cement. Um, ordered at 11 o'clock on Thursday and it was arrived at one o'clock. And I, although I weren't expecting it. So um, my brother's going to be coming down at some point. We're going to have two cement mixers running um, and we're going to do it by hand. Well, I say by hand, but we're going to mix it all using uh, cement mixers and doing it gradually. So um, at the end of the day, it's what it is. Um, you know, onwards and upwards. I've also purchased um, a backy shower as well, uh, second hand. Um, hopefully, I can show you where I've got it. Um, once I've, uh, well, when I go and collect it, so you can see it then. But what I'm going to do is show you the reason why we need to get rid of some of this stuff. And you can see that I ain't been slacking. I've just, um, what, just trudging dog food then? I haven't. Um, yeah, I ain't been slacking. <laughs> I've, um, been busy the missus gave me the order so i had to do as i was told <laughs> and it's true so anyway i'm going to put the video out as much as what i've done prior to this one uh today is the 21st of may uh, it's starting to get a little bit overcast now i'm absolutely chin strapped so that means knackered in army terms really um so i'm going to sign off here um if you haven't subscribed already please do uh, we have got plenty coming on. I have got a few little secrets up my sleeve that I haven't shared with anyone, even the missus. Um, and uh, we're going to get back on it as soon as we can. And then once that pond start getting built up, we'll uh, have a lot more um, stuff coming in. So until next time, chaps and chapesses, thank you very much. Hit the notification bell, subscribe, and let's do what everyone does. I'll see you on the next one.